Okay, so here we're standing at this big tree and I'm asking myself, how old must this tree be? But I've got a special uh, person today with me called My Shadow. So I'm going to ask her. Hello. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Noxenda Kachke. So tell me, no, what, what is the age of this tree? Um, I think it should be 30. 30 years? Yeah. I'm just wondering because when I was born in this hospital, which is in Boyna Handa, we're standing at Paranetwa. Some of you may be surprised to know this is where I was born. And I'm thinking, how big was this tree when I was born? Maybe it didn't exist because I'm almost 50. And I, d I don't know if this tree is 50 years old, but I think I'll go with no on this one. I think it's probably 40 to 50 years. So if it existed, it was a small tree, but look how big it is now. It's grown up, right? If we go back, we can see it's almost as big as the building. How's that? How's that? How's that tree? Look at the size of it going up, right? If we go back, we can see the height. Come back from over here and have a look how big this tree is. And no? It's grown quite tall in 50 years, eh? I wonder if I measure up to it. What do you think? <laughs> they say the wind blows the hardest at the tall trees. Have you heard that before? No. It's true. The, oh. the wind, when it's at the top of the trees, is blowing the hardest. The wind down here is not so strong, but the wind up there at the top is where the strongest wind comes. And that's why the big trees have to have the biggest roots, because they have to stand. If they can't stand, they fall. So let's go have a look at the sign. Oh, there's the entrance. Let's go to the entrance. Welcome to Paranetra Group of Hospitals, Buena Handa Maternity. Hello, how are you? I wanted to check on the records. The records, the birth records. Do you have birth records? Yeah. Because on 27th January, yeah. third door, third door to our left. Let's go and see. One, two, three. This is the right door. Birth Records Office. Enter. Hello, sir. How are you? Good, thank you. My name is Kenneth Sharp. I was born on the 27th of January, 1973. And my mother told me I was born here. So can I check on that record? I will send this shadow of mine, this young lady, no. Okay. 27, 1, January, 1973. Elaine. Name that she used. Elaine. E-L-A-I-N-E. Sharp. S-H-A-R-A-R-P-E. My name is Kenneth. You don't need me. All right. Oh, perfect. Perfect. So you'll have the record tomorrow. I will have to start to check. To check? Yeah, Lots of records. So try to look for me. Yeah, I'll appreciate it. Thanks, brother. Okay, bye. Let's go. So it's not too bad. It looks still clean. It's not too bad. Actually born here. Yeah, it's true. I was born in Boyanahanda Hospital. I know many people say I'm from Russia. I'm a Russian, but it's not true. I'm a Zimbabwean. I was born there in Boyanahanda. Well, at least my mom told me I was born there. I was not there to witness my own birth, but my mother tells me that's where I was born. Oh. So tomorrow we'll find out. Yeah, we will. Because you've asked for the records, yes. and we'll find out what floor I was born on. I'll ask my mom so we can check. To Tomorrow we'll see which floor. There was first, what, and second, and third, mm -hmm. and fourth, right? Yes, there was fourth. So maybe I was born on, on, on the ground floor. I think the first floor, because I remember my mom telling me my dad had to come and wait out the window or something. And she had to show me him from the window. I can't remember. Something like that. I have to check. Yeah. But we're going to drive past now the first place that I got when I found my bride-to-be. Oh. 
I was only 18 at the time. Would you like to see it? Yes, I would. You know, it was interesting because I didn't have a job. I didn't have any money. But I knew that the birds, the male birds, are the ones that make the nest for the ladies to come. So I wanted to make my nest, make a nice home to attract her to say, this is where I'm going to put you up. So she liked the place because it's a very modern building back then. This is more than 30 years ago. Oh. It was a, called Appaloosa. I'm sure it's still there. It's still called Appaloosa. It has glass in front of it. It was quite modern. And this was for me the best thing that I could find in town. But I couldn't afford it. But I still managed to be able to get it. So we'll go have a look, we'll see if it's there. It's on the way where we're going. What's your bride's name? Her name is Joanna. Oh, yeah. that's a beautiful name. Yeah. Her Russian name is Ludmila, which means Ludi. It's a combination of Ludi and Mila. And I speak Russian, so she taught me how to speak. Ludi means people, Mila means nice. And it means being nice to the people, because she's really a nice person. She's always nice to the people, so she's like her name. But she doesn't like to be called Ludmila because most people pronounce it wrongly. So she prefers Joanna. She was baptized in the Orthodox Church. And when they baptized her, they gave her a Christian name, Joanna. So here I'm standing at uh, 5 Appaloosa, if my memory is correct. This is going back 30 years ago. Uh, it's the first property that I rented when I when I discovered my bride-to-be, my purpose of my life, my, my love of my heart, my wife Joanna, and I wanted to attract her, I found a nice place for us to live in. And here it is, Appaloosa. And I'm just going to show a shadow, Noku, over here. This is the first place that I rented. Back then it looked much better, of course. It looks a bit worn out, the walls have faded. But you can see the glass, the glass in the front. I was attracted by the round glass. That's the bedroom on the right-hand side. And it had no curtains. I had no money to buy curtains. I couldn't afford furniture. So the th first thing I bought for this uh, uh, new home is the thing that I realized I would need the most. What do you think that would be, Noku? Um, blankets. Close, good guess. So I couldn't afford blankets, so I bought towels. Oh. Because I could use the towels to dry with and then use them afterwards as a blanket. So I would lie one down as the bed because we didn't even have a mattress. And we slept on the carpet with towels that's all we had for the first week. And we stayed in that bedroom upstairs. And then slowly but surely, I bought some furniture on lease hire and I was able to furnish it. It looked a lot fresher in those days. Of course, I thought it was the best thing that ever I'd ever seen. Uh, it's looking a bit tired. But that's where it all started. It's 32 years ago. 1991, beginning of 1991. And then we didn't have a car in those days, so we'd walk. This is our walking. I remember we'd walk down here we get to Greenwood Park, we'd spend time in the park down there. So how's that? That was the first place I got. And I remember seeing my uncle. I went to speak to my uncle because... So I was a little bit older than you, not much older than you. No? Can you imagine doing something like that? Crazy? <laughs> no. Finding a husband and moving into a place that you can't afford. And my, my uncle talked to me and he spent... I spent an hour waiting to see him, Uncle John. And then I spent, I think, another hour talking to me and he said, you can't do this, it's a big risk. You don't have the money, you can't afford it. I wanted my uncle to sign a surety on the lease. And I left empty handed, he didn't sign anything. But I found a way of paying the deposit, paying the rent, and we moved in and we started a life. So it was a good idea. It must have worked, right? Yeah. I am where I am because of what I did. <laughs> Even the original sign that was here is gone. And it used to be Appaloosa, so you can see the A is still left. Appaloosa, 5th Avenue. And I think I was number 5, which is that unit. And it's on the corner of 5th Avenue and 9th, you know? Just off between 8th and 9th. So this is where it all started, 32 years ago. Number 5, Appaloosa. Piero Vida. So Shadow, this is Greenwood Park. We used to walk from our place in the mornings, come down here, enjoy our time in the park. And look, it saddens me so much to see the quality. Look at the state of, of this park. Would you say this is looking clean and neat and maintained? Look at the dirt over there, the litter. Look at the tall grass, it hasn't even been cut. The lady's sitting there with her baby, but 
She's sitting in the middle of uncut grass, no bench to sit on. It's unacceptable, right? It should not be in this standard. 30 years ago, it was not like this. It was much better, it was kept much better. And this is why my heart bleeds for Zimbabwe and why I believe I can make a difference because most people can't afford to live in big properties, big houses with gardens. Most people live in small properties, flats, apartments, and they use the parks to come outdoors, to have some fresh air, to enjoy the environment. And you can see the state of the benches. Look at that bench, the, the wood is broken. People can't even sit on it properly. So what I want to create in Pomona City is a new city. A city with a vision of the future, where people can enjoy the parks, water around them, beautiful buildings. They can enjoy the outdoors, the environment, where it's clean and safe, and neat and tidy. What do you think about that idea? I think it's a great idea. Would you like to live in a place like, like yes. that, Noko? I would. And you must look up Pomona City. It's the place to be. So you can see it has all the potential. All it needs is some management, you know? It's all about management. Leadership starts at the top. In Russian, they have a saying that translates in English as the fish rots from its head. So when the fish was rotten, it's actually started rotting from its head, which means lead it's all about leadership. Everything is about leadership. We have to take accountability. The people that are responsible for this should never leave it in the state. They need to accept responsibility and sort it out. Pure Vida.